It's coming at us again! That glass might take much more punishment. What? Uh, the tunnel. I'm afraid it isn't there anymore. Which means... We can't get back to the TARDIS. So what is this place? Subaquatic community. Isn't it amazing? When the oceans rose, 75% of Earth's landmass drowned. Humanity built its own new islands and moved on to the ocean bottom to farm and mine for minerals. You're a resourceful lot, you humans. That's why I love you. You're moving anywhere, a bit like hermit crabs. Crabs? Yeah, thanks a lot. Poseidon 8, that's the closest. Come on, be rude not to say hello. Looks like Poseidon 8 is where we need to go, before that shark comes back, preferably.
is that thing? It's not like any shark I ever saw. Of course not. It's not a shark, and it's not from Earth. Quick, inside! The Doctor, Amy. You? Martin Flanagan. Doctor? Then there's a hospital ship up top. You came down in a bathosphere? Is that like some newfangled 23rd century coroner bath? Only no corners. She's still getting used to the pressure. Oswald must have gotten SOS out. Maybe Jones will let me into Poseidon. Now there's medical help. Who needs medical help? The sickness. It's taken everyone on the base. Oswald has put the place on lockdown. That's why Jones won't let me in. I was working a harvester out on the prairie. That creature attacked us. Killed Pat, the base leader. I'm the only survivor. And then Jones wouldn't let me in. Because of the quarantine. The creature had knocked out communications. I've been stuck here two days. What kind of idiot is this, Jones? It's a computer. Hello, Jones. I'm the Doctor. Now, what's all this about you not letting in my good friend? Uh, Martin. My good friend Martin. You're a class 14, aren't you? With Nexus Prime as standard. Correct. And they've got you guarding the doors. It's hardly worthy of your talents. I bet you could run this whole base if they let you. I do have considerable skills which are not currently being utilised. Let us in, Jones. There's a good... Computer. Poseidon community is on lockdown. Quarantine must be maintained to safeguard the staff on Poseidon. But you're not safeguarding the staff, are you? What do you mean? Martin's not safe. He'll starve to death. I'm a doctor. I can cure everyone in that base. If you keep me out here, they'll all die. And I bet you're fitted with standard Nexus Prime laws. See, you can't injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. The Poseidon community is on lockdown. I cannot open this door. It's rubbish being clever sometimes, isn't it? You end up looking for impossible things to do just for the challenge. I bet you've done that, haven't you? Well, the other day I solved the Angelides equation just to see if I could. That's brilliant. Did you use the Kessler chart? No, it doesn't allow for the four-dimensional drift. I came up with a new paradigm. It took 14 hours. Oh, yes. Well done, Jonesy. Thank you. How about a compromise? If you release the manual override, then we will open the door, not you. And I wouldn't have to actually open the door myself? Nope, you won't be in breach of your programming. Scout's honor. How about it? Does that work for you? It's an acceptable, logical solution. Releasing manual override now. now. Open sesame. Ah, thanks for your help, Jones. It's been a relief to talk to someone who understands me, Doctor. Oh, boy. I think you've pulled. Well, I, I can see the attraction. Oswald! Dana! Martin! We thought you'd been killed. Merry Christmas, for what it's worth. When you put Poseidon into quarantine, Jones wouldn't let Martin through. But that's going to happen if you have a Cyber Class 14 system with a Nexus Prime processor doing the work of, well, a 1984 PC. Like putting Einstein on a supermarket checkout. Gonna get grumpy and play out. Who are you? He's a doctor. There's a hospital ship up top. But there isn't any hospital ship. You don't need a hospital ship. You've got me. You couldn't wish for a better Christmas present. <clears throat> and I'm Amy. Just Amy. You're not looking too good, Ozzy. Get away from me. He's just trying to help. Bingo. Well observed. Who are you? Dana Tanaka. I'm the Poseidon medic. The sickness kills off the red blood cells. It doesn't respond to anything. We've confined non-essential crew to their quarters. If he's not from the hospital ship, where did he come from? There's too much weird stuff going on around here. It's the lights! But what are you scared of? It's not just a sickness, is it? They hide in the shadows. They come in the dark. What does? Ashton Arada. Martin! What? What happened to him? 
Carnivorous photoorganisms that live in the dark like schools of cryofish swimming in the shadows. I am never turning the lights off again. Not ever. The vast and narada on Earth are usually timid. Feed on roadkill. But this, down here, this is something else. This is alien. It started with the flash. Flash? What flash? Two days ago. Lit up the ocean bed. The sickness, that creature, the shadows, it all started then. I have to evacuate this base. Good plan, bad idea. Life pods, lots of dark corners. Your people will be dead before they reach the surface. We're on emergency lighting. It won't last much longer. I've got to get everybody off Poseidon. Or I fix the generator. Come on, Amy. You two, stay out of the shadows and forget about the life pods. We'd better stay out of the shadows so those Vasta things don't get us. Got a quid for the meter. I can do better than that. Let there be light. Right then, let's get to work. Doctor, what about the TARDIS? She'll be alright, that part of the tunnel was sealed off. Yes, but there's still a ton of ocean in between us and it. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge or flooded tunnel when we come to it. Oh! Hello, sir. Doctor, it's alive. The Vash and Narada are animating it. Don't let it touch you. Don't let any of them touch you. If the light gets rid of the Vashta, would it work on those divers?
Move it now. Come on. Are they dead? They were already dead. The Vashin Rada just hadn't done with them yet. Hello. Environment status chip indicates dangerous radiation. And it's been activated. Radiation? This is turning into such a great place. But shouldn't we get this generator working before the lights go out and the Vashtas hear the dinner bell? Good point. Come on. Generator's still not working properly. Must be something blocking the vents. I'll keep working on it here. You head up the corridor and... I know, I know. Bravely face the darkness and monsters and save the day again. Well, it's probably just a matter of flicking a switch, actually. But yes, good luck with, uh, flicking that switch. Sounds like there's a blockage in the system somewhere. Sounds better. Hopefully that generator will spring to life now. Hopefully.
That may have done the trick, Amy. One more poke around with those wires and we should be sorted. Brilliant. Well done, Engineer Pop. Now, let's find out what's really going on here. What do you mean, really? The Sickness, the Vash, the Narada, Flipper with the big teeth out there, they're all connected. It's that flash of light they all saw, isn't it? Thanks for chipping in, Amy. Come on. Jones may know more. Hello, Jones, me old mucker. Can you have a butcher's at this for me? Certainly, Doctor. It's a standard environment status chip issued to all Poseidon personnel. That's strange. Strange. I'm picking up some unknown radiation. I'm, I'm supposed to be able to identify every possible type of radiation. My sensors must be damaged. No, your sensors are working perfectly, Jones. You can't identify it because it's alien. And I'm fairly sure I can fix it, too. I need to tell the others. Oswald! The doctor thinks he can synthesize a cure for the sickness. Poseidon is guaranteed to have what I need. Sea sprouts, brine oil, and sticky mushrooms. Those are always growing in some damp corner of an undersea base like this. This is a joke, right? Well, you might use brine oil to keep your machines going, but it's also full of iodine. They need the access codes to get onto the agricultural sectors. And, by the way, I thought I told you. Trying to get your people off Poseidon in life pods will just get them killed. So I just twiddle my thumbs while you mess around with some quack medicine? If you really want to save your people, you'll listen to the doctor. And let you go mushroom picking? 
So you get eaten by those things in the shadows? No way! Enough people have died. No one else, Doctor. It's too dangerous. We've got one chance, and it's these pods. Now, this is a restricted area. Get out! Oswald is a good man. But so many people have died. He's only trying to do what he thinks is right. Just a shame he's so spectacularly wrong. The Doctor needs those access codes. There's always plan B. There must be someone who'll listen and give us those access codes. I should ask Dana about those codes. Oswald won't let us out. We need those access codes. I'm sorry, I can't give them to you. We fixed the generator. It must be safer out there now. We'd be taking all the risks, not you. And I'm responsible for your safety. I can't let you go. I'm sure I'll find the ingredients in the storerooms out there. But you're not certain. It's too risky. You're not putting Oswald in danger or breaking his trust. This will help all of us. Fine. But be careful and try to get back before Oswald notices. Thank you, Dana. I'm always careful. And when we come back with a cure, you'll be glad we went. I'll enter the codes now. Access codes accepted. Security override released. Shush! We're trying to do this on the quiet, you numpty. How much damage has that giant shark done? Too much. I tried to save O'Connell, but he didn't stand a chance. I'm not letting anyone else die today. Did you see this great flash as well? Of course I did. It was like daylight for a few seconds. Couldn't really miss that. Vortron radiation shouldn't exist on this planet. It could cause all sorts of problems I haven't even thought of yet. I don't care. If we get out of the base, we'll leave it behind. Maybe it'll kill a few fish.
Right, that's all the ingredients we need. Come on, Amy, let's get back to Dana's lab and work on that cure. Sorry, all that sugar lumps. Oh, is that witch's brew really going to fix me? You'll feel better, I promise. <laughs> Quite a kick, isn't it? Yeah, that's the sea worm extract. You have got to be kidding me. The doctor's painted a Vortron radiation elixir, 100% effective. Caution, you may grow hair on the palm of your hands. But until that happens, uh, I need your help, Dana. With what? Vortron energy only comes from some sort of dimensional vortex. Are you serious? He's serious. Just what kind of a doctor are you? Really? The kind you need. I mean really need. And if I can find the source of the Vortran energy, I can make everything better. And how do we do that? Does Poseidon have external scanning equipment? Of course. Here. I'm sure Dana said that the bridge area was the best place to use those scanners. Right? That's one of them triangulated. Just one more to go. There we go. Both triangulation units are online. Let's get back to the lab and see what the sensors are picking up. That's the source of the radiation? But you said Vortron energy came from some sort of vortex. That's just a shipwreck. Oh, no, 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 no. Amy Pond. That is the shipwreck of the USS Eldridge. Yeah, like that means anything. The Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, the 20th of October, 1943. Project Rainbow. Mm, nope. Still not getting it. The US Navy experiments with Einstein's unified field theory to make their warships invisible. Instead, they break the laws of transdimensional physics. They open a gateway and the Eldridge travels across the world and back again in the blink of an eye. Every man on board is either killed or goes insane. So what's it doing on the seabed? My people took steps to stop the experiment. Your people? Time Lords. We'll catch up another time. The Gateway was unstable, and the Eldridge disappeared again before they could neutralize it. And now it's here, and the Gateway is still open. The Vashna Narada and that Shorik thing, they came through it? Exactly. And we have to close it. He's going ahead with it. Those aren't... Life pods your crews will be getting into Dana, their coffins. Come on, Amy, we have to stop this. Oh. I don't like this, Doctor. But getting these people, getting Dana, off Poseidon is all I care about. Which means making sure you can't interfere. Oswald, he says the life pods aren't safe. You have to listen to him. We've been careful. Believe me, Dana. This way, at least we've got a chance. He's right, Dana. It's a chance. Doctor? He wants to keep you safe. Go with him. I'll be back to get you, Doctor. <sighs> what are you playing at? And how did you get out of those ropes? Harry Houdini. Long story. No time in arguing about the pods. was just wasting more of it. We need to get to the TARDIS, and quickly. The TARDIS? How? Jones, show me the service system now. Watertight service trenches run beneath Poseidon. Although seabed tunnels connecting with your craft sealed location have been destroyed, access is achievable.
Well done, Jones. Smells a bit stale, taste of engine oil and halibut, but it'll do. Come on, Amy. How is there oxygen? It's a projection of the gateway. Look, fascinating, isn't it? But come along, Pond, we have to find the accelerator, the heart of the gateway. What was that? Maybe he doesn't want to go home. There won't be much in the sea here that's bigger than him. Top of the food chain. So turning the accelerator off will send it home? Him, the Vashon Arada, and anything else that slipped through the trans-dimensional gateway. And before those life pods are launched. Come along, shake a leg, Seaman Pond. Another dark corridor. Amy, stay close behind me. We need to follow the light. I'm ready. Amy, the valve won't stay closed. You go through while I hold it. That door we passed at the top of the steps. Can you find a way to open it from the other side? All right. Great. More divers. Well, they'll be sorry they ever got in the way of Amy Pond.
Finally! Thanks, Amy. I thought I was going to be stuck out there for good. Nah, just until I cleared away the danger. What danger? Exactly. Now to finish the job. We need to find the accelerator and shut it down. Now we're getting somewhere, if I'm not much mistaken. Which of course you aren't. Why, thank you, Amy. You're right. The accelerator is at the top of this room. And what do we do when we get there? Well, would it be too much to ask for an off switch? Ladies first. Thanks. I'll let you know if it's safe up there. Be careful. Looks like the rift is playing havoc with the machinery in here. guys up here. Oh, good. Just down here, then. Hold on, Amy. I'm coming. There they go, back to the surface. I dare say daylight never looks so good. What about you two? We'll take the next pod. Oswald is responding well to your meds, but the pod's SOS beacons will bring a hospital ship. We need to get everybody checked out. I'm sorry, Doctor. I acted like an idiot. We saw the Vashta Narada sucked out of the pods when you shut down the Eldritch. You saved our skins, really. Well, I couldn't leave you just sitting in the dark, could I? Whoever you are, wherever you come from, we owe you everything. We've just had our harvest, and I'd be honoured if the two of you would join us for Christmas dinner. Oh, that would be brilliant. I am starving. What are we having? Oswald's prize crop. Oh, marvellous. What's that then? Sea pumpkins. Sea pumpkins? Sea pumpkins? You'll love them. 